messages. Press 1. I heard someone calling my name repeatedly, but it was a voice I couldn't recognize. I opened my eyes and looked around. I was on a hospital bed, circled by nurses. Mr. Johnson? Mr. Johnson? You finally woke up. I can see that the effects of the drugs are wearing off, and you're finally getting better now. We just have some more tests to run, and we can discharge you tomorrow, said the nurse. The hospital smell was almost insufferable, and all the loud noises were making me confused and agitated. I couldn't remember how I ended up in the hospital. I couldn't remember anything, really. The nurse looked at me with kindness and continued talking. Don't worry, your memory will slowly come back. You just have to go home and rest. A difficult time might come, but if you need psychological support, we're here to recommend you the best. Again, for some whose house this was and why I was brought to it. I unlocked the door and entered the house. Everything I saw didn't remind me of anything specific, but I had a familiar feeling inside the house. The smell of it made me feel somehow safe. What is this place? And why do I feel like I know it? while looking around. I started going through all the rooms and looking at all the photos that were hung on the walls. Fractured scenes kept coming into my mind, remembering slowly who the people I was seeing in the pictures were. I felt like my head was about to explode from all the images that were rolling inside my head. I was trying to put everything together so I could understand how the story went. The memories that I got back were not the best. I remembered my family, my wife Gloria, and my two children, Luke and Lucy. My relationship with Gloria was not the best lately. Our communication was almost completely gone, and the time we spent together was almost non-existent. I was a workaholic, and I didn't take much care of Gloria or lights every time we got a chance, because everything Gloria wanted from me was to at least try to take care of the family. On the other hand, I loved working as much as I could, and I considered that I was caring for the family. I have to admit, remembering all these things made me feel guilty. Seeing Gloria upset every day was never what I intended, but that's just how things always work between us. I didn't only have a bad relationship with my wife, but also with my son. Luke was a teenager, and he loved going out late at night and locking himself in his room. Luke didn't really listen to us. He liked being a rebel and only doing what he wanted. The problem is that I didn't really try to fix the relationship with my son, Gloria being the only one that was taking care of Luke's education. I was always working, and when I wasn't, I never really got the necessary power to have that discussion with him. Luke was rarely with us because he was rarely home. He never ate with us or talked to us. When he was home, he was either playing video games or playing the guitar, but not leaving his room. I always put this behavior on the fact that he was a teenager, but now that I'm thinking about it, this was something that needed to be talked about. Aaron wishes for. She rarely cries or complains about anything. Always happy and smiling, Lucy was the only one that made Gloria feel better. Her always cheerful giggles around the house made Gloria smile and forget about all the other things she didn't like. But where is everyone? I thought looking at a family photo. As I was looking through the kitchen, I saw a half-drained coffee cup, and I remembered that I left that there before we went on our family trip. We decided that we should go on a vacation together. 